Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Explore EXP with Gusty and me. I'm Jenny Williams, and we have a special guest today, um, straight from Auburn, who is, uh, you may have seen him on social media because he does an awesome job getting the word out there in Auburn. Uh, Alex Lakoff, welcome. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm excited to have an awesome conversation. Well, we're glad you're here and exploring EXP with us so that other people can explore. And I loved Gusty's, you know, uh, binoculars the other day. Yeah. <laughs> this gives us a chance to, um, you know, explore what you've liked about EXP so that um, other people may connect with it and say, yeah, I know that Alex guy. I like him. That might could help me, too. So. Mm -hmm. You've been yeah. here um, uh, since you've been with the company. And, and when did you join? How long ago? 424 2020. So April 24th. <laughs> See, he even knows the date. I like that. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's not just you, right? Tell us about your team. Yep. So it's me, and I've got a business partner, Mary Gill Weekly. Uh, we've been partners for about four or five years now. And uh, we also just brought on our first buyer's agent. So, and we also have an operations manager. Uh, well, our buyer's agent's Rachel Mott. Um, she's a great agent. Um, she she works her tail off. So we're really really excited to to see her grow and and, and really be a part of the team. She she's got she's got it. She she can feel the culture. She likes being around. And um, you know, I I really just hope that that we rub off on her and, and we just say, we all just stay motivated and grow. But uh, then we also have our secret weapon, which is Laurel Chapel. Uh, she is our operations manager. She's kind of our ninja behind the scenes that really kind of keeps me straight because <laughs> I can't, I, I just, I just can't, I just can't. I'm, I, I have the male brain that doesn't do multitasking very well. So um, I'm more of the driver personality. So I, I I'm not good at the details or being cautious about anything, but wow, you're in the right place. <laughs> I did a disc personality test years ago, and like one of the top professions was like real estate agent. I was like, okay, perfect. There it is. Mind so, you, all three of us on this lineup here. I know. Drivers, no <laughs> details. <laughs> no. Oh, geez. But big vision. So okay. we all have big vision. We all can buy into it. And, uh, you know, Gusty, when he joined um, and, you know, merged Brick in with EXP, he came up with a great vision for all of us. And I think that um, uh, Auburn is going to end up, you know, being way ahead of, of us here um, right. just because of the, the leaders that um, you have in your market. But um, Gusty, share, share what that vision is. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Jenny and, and Alex. Good to see you, buddy. Um, you know, it's um, w when we came on board, um, you know, we're I guess I'm kind of a numbers guy and, and always looking at, uh, you know, where we want to go and how do we get there. And so I knew that we wanted to put together a goal of, all right, well, something that we can really all kind of collaborate on and try to achieve. And so I said, man, it would be really, really cool if we could get to 25% market share by 2025. Now, if anybody knows, 25% market share in anything is super difficult. Yes, is. And, um, and so then when you put it on top of real estate, and at least in Birmingham, EXP, when we made that merge uh, 11 months ago, was less than 1% market share. So when you're talking about going from less than 1% market share to 25% market share, People think you're kind of crazy, um, and and I'm just crazy enough to believe that we can actually get it, and um, and so you know I also believe that's going to uh, extend throughout the state, and especially in Auburn, we've got some fantastic leaders in the Auburn market with Alex, and Mary Gail, and Carol. and Carol, Carol, yeah, Carol just uh, uh, we've had Carol on uh, a few weeks ago, and. Um, you know, her and Natalie uh, recently uh, capped and they're on their way to Icon and we've got Evan and Matt and, and their team. And, and, you know, everybody is on the way to being on uh, Icon status. And so when you look at, all right, we're bringing these top level agents to EXP. 
then you start seeing them all kind of collaborate and then they're all believing, oh my gosh, 25% market share is actually possible. And so I know I was looking uh, yesterday and in Birmingham, 3.8% market share. We, I think last week we we're at 3.7% market share. Yeah. So I'm just looking to get to 5% by the end of this year in Birmingham. And so we're making those steps and we're heading that way. I don't know where, what we're at in Auburn, but I truly think that Auburn will probably hit it before Birmingham does uh, just because of the caliber of leaders that we've got and, and people like Alex. Have yeah. you checked it at all, Alex? Um, so just, I, I I just kind of know the numbers roughly uh, just from previous history. But if I had to guess, I mean, a pretty educated guess is saying that we need about 200 and uh, almost 240, 250 million in, 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 uh, in gross volume. I think that's what it's going to take a year. So um, it's, to be honest with you, it's, it's not as hard as it looks. Uh, I think it's, like you're talking about, it's kind of a top down type effect when you have great leadership, you have great vision. And once you start, I think the interesting thing that really tricks most people in real estate is they are independent contractors with, they have a one year goal or something like that. But when you meet somebody that has a real vision, a real team leader, you look at successful teams across the country, the most common denominator amongst them all is that they have a vision, a mission, core values and they stick behind them. It's what they rely on when, you know, when it hits the fan, they've got, that's what, that's what they jump back to. So, and the reason why I say that's just because when we look at going saying, Hey, Auburn wants to be 25% market share by, by year 2025. I, I, I think it's very doable. Um, I think it'll take a probably if we keep getting the production style agents that we're getting, I think we, if we got somewhere between 60 to 80 agents, I bet we could do it. And uh, I think we're well on our way. I mean, yes, you've been with the company 11 months, you said, I think. And, uh, yeah. and we, we, you've already really affected Auburn and, and with your, with y'all's vision, you, you, you and Jenny, and um, a lot of us have really bought into that and we see the value in it. So I think it's, it's easier for us to know that, especially with the leadership that, that's coming down. So for you, what kind of vision do you have for your team? For my team, mm -hmm. um, I want at least five agents by the end of the year. I think it's going to be important uh, to get our to get our team up and running. Uh, Auburn's a unique market where you know you're only dealing with really about seventy thousand people in our city. And when me and Mary Gail look at our numbers, we do probably eighty percent plus of our deals in the city limits of Auburn. So we've got a very focused market, very focused approach of how we, we do business and expanding that, you know, uh, I think we could definitely pump it up to five to 10. I mean, of course, you know, I, my, my personal goal, look, I'm, I'm competitive as hell and Gusty is going down. Like <laughs> you hit six, six in the nation and I'm going to do it in rural Alabama. Like, like that's what I'm thinking. So I love it. <laughs> I've got I'll give you the I'll give you the playbook. Well, that's what I'm doing is that I'm slowly I'll I'll text him at 9 p.m. Hey, are your boys down? Let's talk for just a minute, and I'll pull something from him. Just like yesterday, I sent you a text. Right. You never emailed me. I don't think you did. Um, I didn't. But, so, <laughs> I so, but my plan is yeah. it's just look. You, you can all my the best coaches I've ever had in real estate have never met me, and they're all through podcasts. So it's really nice to get six years into the business. And now I'm finally working with people that I know, see, trust, and uh, it's really going next level for me, for us. So uh, yeah, the goal is to get to at least five agents, I think by the end of the year um, and hopefully 10 by next summer. And I think we should be rocking and rolling. Well, you do a great job with promotion and uh, you have learned how to use social media tools to, to really promote your listings. Um, and, uh, you know, you put some of the company stuff in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what's your, what's your favorite um, promotion method? Um, my favorite promotion method. Tool. Uh, tool. Oh, tool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think obviously it's just utilizing stuff, Instagram, Facebook, you know, I think it's, it, there's no magic bullet in it. I think it's just a matter of being 
cognizant of what people are looking at every day. You know, I scroll through my feed just like everyone else does. And if I want to work with that person that works a nine to five job, I want to catch them during their lunch break on their phone. You know, I mean, that's where they're going to see me, you know, start to learn about me, start to trust me, start to see that we work well with clients, see client testimonials. Um, and uh, so, yeah, just making sure that you're putting out quality stuff and not just quantity. You can do both, but uh, I think focusing more on the quality end is where people really grab it, grabs eyes. Well, I notice a lot of your open houses and how you'll promote that and, mm -hmm. you know, showcase your house, you know, the, the yeah. listings that you have. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, well, we do that and then we'll we'll do some uh, Facebook Live stuff with that. And then uh, I'll plug Mary Gill real quickly for being just an absolute social media rock star. Her and uh, little Sam, her son, uh, I asked her to do to do something uh, very uncomfortable. And it was to do a weekly tip. And because it's Mary Gill Weekly, I was like, Mary Gill, this is just, I, it's teed up. Number one, her maiden name was Golden. So that was like the best. <laughs> ever. And now her name is Weekly. I was like, all right, now we got to ab abuse that. So we have the uh, the weekly tip and it's her and Sam. Uh, and she gives a good tip for home sellers and buyers. And it's not your typical tip. And uh, it's something that's a very niche about a house or about a project or uh like knowing to use getting a home inspection 11 months after you purchase a brand new home before you do your final walkthrough with a builder, like just unique things that people don't ever think about to, uh, that are real value bombs that she, she drops a value bomb, I think every week. So uh, it's always a good that. That's going to be a new vocabulary. Term. Value bomb. <laughs> value bomb. <laughs> If you follow the ACUF weekly group on Facebook, you're going to get value bombed uh, on the weekly. <laughs> no. See, y'all are good. So. <laughs> so whenever you joined um, EXP, uh, did you get any kind of questions like, gosh, you know, I, nobody knows this company or did you open this company or, you know, anything like that? Did any of your buyers or sellers um, care that you went with exp realty um i think the easy answer is saying no but it it, uh, it is very different um person to person one thing you know exp has been popping up you've got agents like carol and natalie and matt and evan and them and you know they've got a lot of good influence here in town so that you know people have been seeing the name here and there here and there i mean heck people thought we started our last company so uh, it's, we've transitioned from one of the largest companies in the country. Well, I guess now almost in the world to a, a very niche hometown, uh, independent company. And now we've jumped over into the realm, which is just an, it's an incredible opportunity, um, over to EXP, which is really like the best of both worlds. Cause I mean, look, Brent Beavers sends out the funniest YouTube videos. <laughs> and he's our state broker over what, 500 agents? <laughs> so uh, there, I can go on about that if you'd like. Um, but he is, they do a great job. Uh, one of the things that our clients always ask, they're like, is it gonna change on our end? Is it gonna change this and this? And I'm like, no, we're, it's a real, my business with my clients is a relationship and it's a long, long lifetime relationship because we're not going anywhere. It's a small town. So when people ask me, they're like, what about your service? What about your quality of service? I was like, if anything, we're elevating it because we're still the same people. We're just now adding new technology and new techniques on the other end, really, to really help boost your business. And so um, a lot of people have really responded well to EXP. Um, it was a bit of a, I mean, it was a big jump for us. So, uh, you know, I just work number one, just a hundred percent virtual. I think that's the biggest thing people say to you. They're like, Oh, what about being virtual working from home and all this stuff? I'm like, well, I've been with the company over a hundred days now and I've met with people in an office this many times. Right. And mm -hmm. I've got 33 sides for $9 million. Woo! I don't think I need, I don't think I have to have yeah. this to work. 
No. Well, and, and even with everything that's happened with COVID, yeah. I mean, your old brokerage probably has not been open. Um, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, yeah. a lot of a lot of brokerages have had to close their offices because of everything that's been going on. Well, you know, I th they're doing plenty of business. We do a lot of business with them. They're good friends of ours. And so I know they're still working. They, I mean, heck, I live a mile down from down, from downtown Auburn and I, their offices down there. So I see them all the time. They, they're still very much in business. They're booming too. I think there's a lot of misconception, but I mean, if you're, I mean, that was a powerhouse group of agents in that office and all of them are very productive, you know, COVID hit, but they just, we all just continue to work. That's good. Well, and there are lots of offices, though, that, um, you know, brokers have not and cannot be in for risk of, you know, health reasons. Um, yeah. So uh, agents are having to adjust during this time. And now we're all seeing that um, we don't really need that office space. Yeah. Um, so I had an agent ask me a little while ago, um, uh, hey, I got the earnest money in from my clients in Ohio that mailed it. Um, where's your office? And I said, oh, I don't have one. I'm happy to meet you somewhere. And he said, what, what? We don't have an office? <laughs> I said, well, I don't. He was like, well, where's this earnest money going to go to if you don't have an office? And I'm like, hey, we've got the best systems um, that are super scalable and efficient. Um, we have credit unions all across the state <clears throat> deposited in there. So I'll pick it up from you. Just let me know where you are. So uh, with all those things, from what we said about Brent Beavers to what we're talking about now, I think the best example that everyone can get, whether you're a new agent, seasoned agent, never have done a deal, is the first time you actually cut the cord at your house. That's what it is. That, yeah. Every time I think about this, it's like, because it makes sense. five years ago, me and my wife, we moved to Auburn. We cut, we, we cut the cable. We, we did no cable. And it was like, dang, are we going to get our SEC football games? Yeah. Oh, are we going to be able to get local programming? Oh, we're going to be able to get movies. Is it, what's it going to be like? And you know, it's scary. I think the unknown is what's so scary about it. And, um, but you see a lot of people being very successful, a lot of high level people. I mean, it, it, it's not just by happenstance that Tarek El Musa joined the company. It's not by happenstance that, I mean, the biggest agents around the country are coming over to EXP. I mean, it's huge. Look at Canada. I think, I think by the time I came in those three weeks that we were talking, Gusty, I think they got mm -hmm. what, 500 agents across Canada in that week or two. I mean, it's, yeah, and so, but going back to cutting the cord is you realize that you've taken out this kind of middleman that brings you a cable box. You cut out the the miscommunication that may come from NBC to your local provider to you. And now it's just a streamlined process. You know, you're basically watching Netflix at this point. You're, you're watching Hulu. It's direct to, to consumer, which I'm the consumer for EXP. Uh, real, that's kind of how I look at it. But, um, I think if people can look at it like that, because everyone I know, it's like, oh, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no cable outlet above this, this uh, fireplace. I'm like, okay, what do you need that for? Like, you don't need that anymore. It's just, right. just stream it. everything's streaming. And it's so that um, the, the, you know, having that little phone plug in, mm -hmm. not one makes you have one somewhere in the house. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. I mean, they're so, it, we are the wave of the future because more and more those things are becoming irrelevant. My son goes to Auburn. He's a senior at Auburn and uh, he has YouTube TV. And so when he comes home, he's like, oh, you have got to get that. What is this? Right, I didn't mean to diss on you. <laughs> no, <you're fine>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all good. I, I still got direct TV. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, we have it all. We've got Fire Stick. We've got Roku. <laughs> so we, we have all of it. Yeah, but, but I do love how that, I mean, it's very similar to like cutting the cord. It's something, you know, you might not be used to mm -hmm. and you just have to just try it out. Like, all right. And here in Birmingham, I still have an office. I've, I've, I've said, hey, anybody in Birmingham, if you'd like to use my office, you're more than welcome to. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, we've offered it very many people i mean very few people you know come by and use it right. um we have a couple but um 
you know, it's like I was uh, I was talking to one of our um, one of our top uh, agents from up north, and he was like, you know, wh- what's kind of the impact on like branch offices and, and like the Birmingham market? And I said, you know, surprisingly, you know, people have not really cared about having the branch offices in Birmingham, and because and, and because we've had them, we've opened up the doors and nobody's using them. Now maybe that's because of COVID. But I think even even before that, people just really weren't coming in. And I mean, they don't have to. They don't have to bring a check. You know, I mean, there's still brokerages that out there that are cutting checks. Well, I mean, we, we just saw a couple of weeks ago, one of our agents literally uploaded his closing disclosure and his check and got paid in 17 minutes. That's before even the check left the closing attorney, the EXP. He got paid. I mean, that's you talk about efficiency. I mean, th- that is just on another level of efficiency. People, people don't understand how how uh, how qualified Makisha is. Oh, yeah, 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 for real. So yeah. good. She's rocking, dude. Mary, that that was Mary Gail's request. She said, "If you go on there, Alex, you have to mm-hmm. shout out." He's like, "That lady is awesome. That whole team, yes. like the whole Sky Slope." The way the transaction man- management goes from her to Brent to Kelly, they're all just yeah. great people. Mindy all right. and McKee. All right. Yeah. So, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about the technology because I mean, we're, we're, we're exploring EXP. So yeah. give us kind of your, you know, the technology that, you know, that you've been introduced to and give us the feedback that, that uh, you have. Okay. Uh, you're probably not going to like me for this one. <laughs> Uh, just because I have my own systems and processes, and no. and, and that's okay. Yeah, okay. PowerPoint. So, <laughs> so yeah. I know Gusty's a boom towner. Uh, right. I'm a PowerPoint guy. It's kind of like I guess Pepsi and Coca Cola or something, but he's definitely Pepsi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I don't know. I could be Sam's Cola. I don't know. Uh, so I'm a FirePoint user. I've been a FirePoint user since me and Mary Gill started as a team. I was one of their first hundred clients. I've been with them forever. Me and Gabe are super close. If anybody ever needs a referral or an awesome discount, Gabe's going to give us a discount. Yes, Dave. <laughs> uh, if anybody wants to, wants a discount on that, they can reach out to me. Um, we use that. And we um, and we, we use that as our CRM. We use it for our kind of our funnel, our leads funnel. Everything from Google pay per click to Facebook ads, Facebook posts, Facebook uh, boosts, all that stuff. Everything goes in there, even our Instagram, even Zilla. I mean, it, phone calls, every phone call is on there. Every phone call is recorded. Sorry, people. Uh, we, we record and we track everything. We, we, I could tell you the percentage of everything we get from signed calls, like the sources, er, er, how we. I think it's just important to know your numbers and use, utilizing quality technology to track your stuff uh, is 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 where you learn to build a business. And um, I'm not a numbers person, but knowing I know the rough numbers well enough that I, I know where I need to take our stuff. So we're using that. We're using Dot Loop for our personal transaction management. Skyslope is really killer. We're just used to Dot Loop because it's it's just what we've used forever. It's how we track some stuff. But uh, Skyslope is super efficient. It's way better than Authentisign, which is what the MLS offers. And nope. Anyways, uh, and so we we like using Dot Loop. I will say though, if I was not with a CRM to begin with, there's no doubt in my mind I would be tearing up KB Core right now. I've learned a lot about KB Core, and it's not even off the books. I still plan on using it, which is pretty cool. I'm actually trying to just keep learning, learning, learning more about it. Uh, I think KB Core has a ton of powerful tools. Their squeeze pages are like none other. Uh, the ability to customize them. That, and the cool thing is, that's going to cost you about mm, 700 bucks a month if you're not with this company and with your when you're with EXP. That is 85 dollars a month, <laughs> and that's just the surface of it. Like. That doesn't even account for all the other things you get with sky slope and all that. But, but KV core has a, has it, it's, you know, it's up there. It's like the Porsche. It's kind of like one of your Lamborghinis of, of uh, real estate CRMs and it, it's a quality product. I think yeah. um, they can overcomplicate stuff. That's why I'm personally not a fan. I think newer agents can get really deep in the well on trying to learn all the different things, but right. 
really people need to just know, pick up the phone, call, track it, follow up and close them. Like it's not hard. Well, Vicki um, Harris, who uh, joined us from LAH and she, um, she's already capped and she's doing fantastic. Well, she's just now getting her uh, KV core going. And uh, she has her database that she just uploaded. And she said, oh, my God, my friends have been getting text messages from me on their birthday automatically. I didn't even know that. And they've reached out. That's awesome. So much. Yeah, yeah it is awesome. So right. there is so much power there within it. I understand you have your tools in place and your systems in place. Don't mess with what you already have um, yeah. if you've got those in place. But if you don't, then because. Right. I didn't ha like, um, I'm a huge Boomtown fan, um, uh, but I came back in with nothing. Uh, and so I've been able to use all of the tools that um, we have at EXP and they're great. And of course, I don't call those back like I should, but um, because I answer all the referrals. You know, yeah, that, that texting technology is super interesting to me. Um, I've used a lot of different services that do some AI texting, but I think just for simple follow up, getting, getting, you know, just getting the conversation started because you can jump in at any time. I think it's just so cool. And the cool. system's constantly learning about what you're looking at. It's really, it, it, agents need to preach more that they're building a system that's private for their client that is, um, it's just super easy to use. It's a lot easier than using Zillow, to be honest with you. It just is. It's more custom. Well, you know, consumer habits, though, people just want to always go back to Zillow. Right. <laughs> but um, it, it is, I can see um, what everybody looks at, whatever house mm -hmm. somebody's interested in. And we um, just got um, uh, hooked up and integrated with um, Bomb Bomb. So we've got that feature that we can pull oh, up through KV Core. So um, we, they're always thinking about how to make things better for us. And that's one of the things Gusty and I love about the company is that they listen to our input mm -hmm. and, and they act quickly, really. Um, yeah. not, uh, they don't give us lip about, sure, we'll look into that and, you know, do their own thing when we walk out the door. They really listen and implement as quickly as they can. For us. Yeah. It's incredible okay. workplace. I've never seen so many flipping updates from a company from the top down in my life. Like you want to talk about communication, streamline communication. Facebook workplace is an absolute game changer. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Cool. I mean, it really has. And then all the groups within, I mean, it's just like Facebook groups it has workplace groups. Yeah. And there's so many groups in there that you can learn about different marketing, about all kinds of different stuff. Yeah. And it's really a wealth of knowledge. That's where I learned to do some of the stuff that you're seeing on our social media right now is that uh, I'm just, I'm a tinkerer type person. And man, when I, when I saw a workplace and just knowing, like looking across the country and seeing the agents that were coming over, I was like, maybe I should find them and follow them on workplace. And you do that. And then you find out that dude is a humongous contributor to the community of EXP. And I'm like, yeah. no one even knows that outside of EXP. And, yeah. He's put and you know, these people are putting all their information, all their quality content. Like if you don't know where to start in real estate, EXP is a phenomenal place to begin. It's a, it's a great place to begin your journey, your journey. A lot of people think you have to be experienced and bring business over to this company. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But what I love about it is that someone on your level that has its own systems that are closing a lot of transactions that are helping a lot of people in your market um, uh, can thrive here because you've just talked about how you're learning, you know, you're hungry, you, you're going and finding people who are, are doing bigger things than you. So you're implementing it into your business. And we have such a network of that, that yeah. other companies don't offer. It's either or, right? Like you've yeah. got, um, I loved when I was with Remax because we didn't sit around talking about real estate. We were out selling it. Yeah. Um, then you've got other companies um, that I've been with before. They just want to sit around and talk about it and the idea of it and never sell a damn thing. So, 
<laughs> so, I love that we can go in a virtual platform. We don't have to drive there. We don't have to put a date on it. We don't have to put a timestamp on it. And we can get fed from any level that we, um, you know, want to go to. And uh, to me, that is just, um, it's so refreshing because uh, it, it it has growth for everybody. Like you said, it's great to start out with because, you know, you'll have a mentor who goes on appointments with you and, and you'll go on appointments with your mentor and you'll learn the contracts inside and out, but you can keep going at yeah. any level. Like my mentees are already mentors. <laughs> yeah, it, it teaches you to come from a, from a place of contribution. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that is so amazing to see. And it's, it's like a breath of fresh air when you see that in a company that's, really coming from wanting to help the person and from a, of course, you know, in this company, yes, you are financially aligned with people above and below you. And, but what's cool about it, everyone you talk to in this company, they're all coming from a place of contribution because we know the better they do, the better everyone else does. And you just want to see people be successful period. I think right. that's, you know, if you have long term goals like me, you know, I want to make 10 millionaires. I'm not one yet, but I will, you know, once I'm there, I want to be able to make 10 more millionaires after me. And I think, you know, companies like this are the ones that build them first. I agree. Like and we're seeing that um, mm -hmm. young, young people that are making millions right. in this company. <laughs> I'm, I'm like over here on my. Over, yeah, over the hill. <laughs> never be able to grow a beard like Gusty the rest of my life. So it's, <laughs> we can't all. I got I got my splotches. So. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's talk. Let's talk. I mean, you touched on it, but um, you know, training. Yeah. Um, you know, when when I was growing, you know, our brokerage, it was we were doing everything that we could to create content for just a one hour lunch and learn a week. Um. And so that can be a daunting task for a broker or a team leader, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. What has been your, um, you know, since you've been with the company, tell us about, um, you know, the trainings that you've either been in or, or looked at. What, what's kind of your feedback on that? Um, I've been to a couple in the, uh, in the virtual world on EXP world. And that's, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I get about an hour to myself in the morning and that's about it between the time of about 5.30 to 6.30 before the child wakes up. So I like to go outside and I go on a run. Um, they, the training is excellent and I'm, it's actually inspired me to want to do more training myself. I want to I want to be that person. I want to have someone call me with their with their issues or how they can grow their business. You know, I want to be in that position. Um, because I call people just like I want someone to call me. Like I call you Gusty. And, uh, you know, I think, um, I've learned so much because, uh, like people that I didn't even know were in EXP until I got into EXP, like, uh, Tim and Julie Harris. I didn't know that they were even EXP. Uh, mm -hmm. they are incredible. Uh, then you've got, um, and they've opened up their whole playbook. It's incredible for, for anybody at EXP. Their whole playbook is free. I know. I know. How about that? <laughs> I got Harris rules on audible right now. That's one. That's something I'm listening to right now. Um, there you go. And then Justin Brome out in Utah. I think it's Utah. He's uh, runs the massive agent podcast and the, uh, and the um, podcast and get something like that. But anyways, uh, I'm just a podcast guy and an audible guy, to be honest with you. Like I, I, I consume so much information. Um, I, I actually, my computer got really mad at me and told me I had to delete storage. I found out it saved over a, a gig of, of podcast over just last year. So I had to delete it all. Um, so yeah, my, my feedback on the training is that number one on every Sunday, I actually do look at all the trainings I, and I go through it Monday through Friday. Um, and it's hard for me to catch, catch a lot of them, but I, I do like to send them to people that I think would really benefit if I see them, like if it's a startup and uh, some guys coming in talking about, you know, how to really get up and running with your communication with your buyer clients and your follow-ups, you know, I think that's a great place to start. And then you've got the other people that are like, oh, this dude over here has like 3000 people in his downline. He's also been in the business about 10 years, has a massive team, he, you know, he's out of a big city and he's up on stage virtually 
telling you what this guy does to grow his business. And so I'm like, I don't have enough time in the day that I want to spend. Cause when they say it's 60 hours, it's almost a little overwhelming to me because I'm one of these people that just hit play and, and I'll do other things, but I'll listen to whatever I can. So it's uh it's pretty cool. Even if you can just take one hour a week mm -hmm. to tap into those 60 hours of training a week, yeah. you know, it, it, and it's just, it, it, there's just so much. I mean, it's almost overwhelming. Yeah. So, that's one of the kickers. It's like, you can be, what we're talking about and you can be what we're not talking about and you can be productive and you can be a single agent. You can make a good living in this company. No one's going to absolutely pressure you to do all this stuff and you can be your own self and you can be your own creative in your own business. And that's the part that I share with a lot of agents that may be not really, not really into it, but they're like, you know, EXP, it sounds like a good, you know, good deal, good split, good, good systems. And they're like, well, I really just don't, I'm not really into the whole growing a team. And in my mind, I, I always finish the sense I go, yet. They're not into it yet. <laughs> and so um, I always see it where there's a huge opportunity to, to reach out to those folks too, because um, everybody thinks it's just got to be a running gun, high producing agent, or you got to get there real fast. But it's not necessarily that. It's a, it's an, it's an awesome culture. I think the culture speaks for itself. I think that we have such a team for me. We have such a team feel that, mm -hmm. um, and I am a single agent. Um, I want to be a single agent right now because getting back in after not selling for 10 years, um, I, I, for me to be able to take care of people and feed them and have the right leads coming in, you know, that takes some mind power to put all that stuff together. And mm -hmm. I needed to hit the ground running and sell. <laughs> I need to feed the family. <laughs> so um, for me, I have all of the feeling of a team, the support of a team. I provide support. And, and as a team, I'm going to, to look at a house tomorrow for one of our agents to help price out. And um, I went and looked at a house or another agent two weeks ago to figure out why it's not selling and met with his seller. And I just feel like we ha we don't have to be necessarily be a team leader like the two of y'all are to have such a feeling of um, more than collaboration. It's, it's support and, and resources, I think. You know, you feel like we're all working together for the same good. I mean, we promote each other's properties mm -hmm. uh, and it actually makes us look better because we're promoting all these properties. So it looks like it's all of our listings. <laughs> Back to 25 and 25, 25% uh, 20, by 2025. It is really cool because uh, we may not have an office, but dude, our our our, our uh, EXP Auburn text message group on GroupMe is fire. Like there you go. You know, being in the loop, man. That's that's it. I'm, it's probably better than any office meeting I've ever been in. It's all the time. So the power producers. I love it. And so um, Laura Tabor, she was like, Makisha, yes. And uh, Carol said, Makisha is the value bomb. Okay, so now you're a trendsetter, Alex. <laughs> You've got everybody talking value bomb. And Melanie, thank you. Love you too. So I wanted to make sure to reach out and acknowledge everybody who has said something. Yeah. Um, so as you're growing a team, though, you've got resources. You've got Gusty right here. Um, uh, you know that okay. um, he's such a great um, team leader. He's the number one team in uh, all of Alabama and not just EXP. Um, so the resources right at your fingertips that you've got to, to be able to grow to where your vision is taking you is uh, a reason that I love this company and I spend most of my day um, talking to other agents or doing something for another agent. Um, and you know what? I did something today for someone who I think is on my seventh line. Like it won't even matter <laughs> if, if she bring to me financially, if she brings in additional people because they won't count for me, but they'll count for Gusty and they'll count for everyone else that, um, yeah brought her in. That's important to me, you know, taking care of everybody that's already here. So it sounds like you're kind of feeling that way too and kind of seeing yeah. some of that. Yeah. I mean, life, life is not a matter of balance. It's a matter of imbalance and getting back when you can. And, uh, you know, people say 
not fo- some people don't believe in focusing on money, but I believe in focusing on money to give me the, to do the things that I want to do with my family and my life. And so it's our uh, duty. We, it is our duty and uh, it's, it's a great place to be. It's a great place to grow. It's a great place to land. If you don't know where you want to go, especially with this whole pandemic thing. And as we, as we close in on this second half of the year, um, you know, I think it's just, I think there's going to be a lot of transition uh, for folks and uh, we're excited to, to help out and bring on whoever we can. Um, I'd love to start mentoring, coaching, do whatever I can. I mean, people will find that I'm the dude that's texting you at 6 a.m. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> I just I get up early. I like to, I like to get it going. So, uh, cause if you can win the day by 12, you've won. So that's the goal. Well, and you Absolutely. can, you can be a mentor and um, you can, yeah. uh, you know, sign up to do that if you want to do that. But it sounds like to me that you want to make even more of an impact in someone's business. Yeah. Um, I'm so. trying to figure out how to get back to my hometown a little bit. So uh, if you're watching this from Phoenix City, Columbus, I'm coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> we, actually, we, we do have an agent that um, in Phoenix City. And um, uh, you, we definitely want to grow that area. You know, it's a pioneer. He's a pioneer over there. Uh, and a, a lot of our areas have been pioneers that, you know, Gusty and I have had so much fun just you know, we, when we met, I met Tina in um, Fort Payne and Cami over in Auburn. And, I mean, y'all all in Auburn pretty much came on at the same time. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's all pioneering together and it is so much freaking fun. <laughs> it is great. It's kind of like the Wild West when you talk to people about EXP down here. They're like, where did y'all come from? Is this a local brokerage? I'm like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's around 30,000 agents somewhere in that realm, but uh, and growing. Uh, it is well, kind of funny. well, and we're the fastest growing um, real estate company in Alabama as well. You know, we have over 500 agents now, and wow, I mean, so much of that growth has happened in the past year, the mm-hmm. past 12 months. I mean, and it's we're going to probably even see it faster in the next 12 months. Yeah. Um, so that's why you know, Gusty and I, we we feel passionately about mm-hmm. making sure people have the right information about. Um, you know, how it's affected you personally in your business and how it can affect other people and really grow their businesses as well. So what, um, you know, Gusty had a great question about, you know, what what have, what surprised you that you didn't expect about EXP? What surprised me that I didn't expect? Um, Makisha and Kelly Colley. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are good things, you know, some good staff behind, um, you know, you know, I've had some, I've had top of the line brokers here in Auburn with all due respect, but man, Kelly is sharp. Uh, we've really enjoyed, we really kicked it off well with her and, um, she is a ball of energy and she is hilarious. Uh, but man, when it comes to your business, she is, she is on top of her game and very protective of her, of her crew. And so we always appreciate them. I think that, you know, the biggest surprises are definitely um, the back end systems. The payment systems is amazing. I mean, just with sky slope and them, and I sure, I'm sure there's whole, more than Makisha that's back there working and we're just emailing her, but then being able to work with the brokers, I love, okay, this is Laurel's big surprise and what Laurel loves the most because Laurel came from corporate, I think I'm going to mess this up, maybe like a corporate law firm out in uh, out, uh, out in Houston. And so when she came over and she started working with us, we're just an absolute wreck. Like, we're just like, hey, we just need you to like, pick up everything that we keep forgetting and help us get organized and help us create systems, create, create, create this, create that. And when we came over to EXP and she saw the systems, it was like, okay, we need this, 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 and this, all this doesn't matter. If this happens, we need this. I mean, she is now like a ninja on that thing. And so, <laughs> uh, yeah, thank God. Cause I don't, I don't know how I get to be completely honest with you, but she, she's the master of it. Well, it's good that each one of your team members have, you know, been pleasantly surprised by things. Yeah. Yeah. No, all of us. And, and that was the cool thing. I, that just, it's not just the agents that find it awesome. If you have a support team, you are doing them an injustice not to be a part of this period. 
I mean, it's there. All the systems are there. They're vetted. They're professional. They're all, all the marketing. The le- the marketing collateral from this company is ridiculous, mm-hmm. man. Well, and, and I can tell you that that is only going to get better. And, and uh, the main reason why I was on a uh, group um, uh, conference call earlier today with our new head of marketing for EXP, and uh, I am so excited uh, with Courtney, and she's going to be taking over this role for EXP and really taking things to the next level. I mean, she is a superstar. I know y'all haven't had the pleasure of meeting her, but oh my gosh, um, I was I was very pumped after that meeting this morning. So um, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be coming down the pipeline. It's going to be so good for not only us as agents, but we're going to see some stuff that's going to be consumer facing too. That's going to be positive. You know, I mean, from from a brokerage standpoint, brokerages are really, you know, our, our main client is the agents. Mm-hmm. So what we're trying to do is produce the tools to make all of the agents successful. That's why training is so key. Um, and so, and as far as the the consumer standpoint, the agent is the main person. the The broker is more of like the indirect, you know, you know, mm-hmm. client. So. You know, yeah. that's why we've got to, you know, the, the brokerage, it's so important to take care of the agents and yeah. and just make them better. Yeah. The opportunity with technology, I mean, with, with EXP and their marketing platforms and, you know, we've really enjoyed it because they've made everything just so easy for us because um, I used to be big into graphic design. I used to be doing it big into photography. I don't do either anymore. Um because we've got an incredible guy that helps us out with our graphic design. And then we have an incredible photographer, but um, EXP makes those systems even better. It kind of elevates them because it makes it so much easier for us to, you know, get what we need from EXP and working with their marketing department and everything and just getting, making sure stuff's approved um, because we have our own logo and all that good jazz. And so new signs and uh, but yeah, it's, I'm excited to see because I think there's a lot of, platform you know that's a big word platforms and exp is a big humongous platform and uh it it could do nothing but get better after i mean i remember the first day i logged in i was like oh man i'm about to just i'm i'm never gonna go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> just well, to, um and for you having a team you already had a brand Um, and, uh, you know, EXP allows us to pretty much use our own colors, Mm -hmm. uh, use our own kind of signs. They don't get caught up in the ego of a company or ego of a brand compliant and have some sort of symbolism that is uh, congruent to the rest of the We all got the same backbone. That's the cool part about it. Yes. So I love that. Um, and, uh, you know, I've, I've been talking with an agent who just got his license and he's like, well, can I market myself? Yes, absolutely. Where, you know, at other companies, if you're not red over white over blue, then you're going to be turned in by a fellow agent um, <laughs> uh, instead of a competitor. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. so I love the freedom that we have here. But can, can we can we talk just a second because we're running out of time about yeah, right. Uh, we were talking about it's our duty. We can't take care of other people unless we have the income to take care of ourselves so that we can either uh, donate or, um, you know, hire or take on other people. So getting back, to that duty, especially when you have a team um, to find the best business model to help our family and income. Uh, let's talk about a couple of those things. Um you know, 80, 20 split with a $16,000 cap is what we have as we're exploring EXP. And a lot of people get raises automatically by joining either through splits and cap or by both. And mm-hmm. we don't have franchise fees. We don't have any of that hidden garbage that, you know, bait and switch that a lot of companies use uh, you know, that will say that they've got this split and then their first check is an extra 6% off. <laughs> We don't have any of that, um, but you as a team, right? You want to talk a little bit about how your team structure is, because if you have a team, compensation can can be even you know different than that. Well, the big thing about about compensation is like it seemed like every way I could cut it or every way I could try to figure it somewhere down the line, even if I were to open up my own brokerage and go 100%, I'm still only doing like 
essentially after you pay out everything, it's like a 70, 30 split with an agent. Like, it, I feel like that's just what it always comes down to. It's somewhere in that realm. I mean, just no BS. And then your net profit is probably somewhere 40 or less percent. Um, so the cool thing about EXP is that, you know, we're really excited about it because there is a humongous transition in the market company coming and agents better learn about being listing agents. They better learn about their commission splits. They better learn how they're making their money. Um, I think it's very, very important right now to, to look at those numbers because there's no, there's no hidden secrets or silver bullets to real estate anymore. It's all on YouTube. If you want to go look it up. Right. Um, I think you know, I learned all mine from podcasts. So, but I think there's an opportunity to take the money, not really take the money, but, but utilize the money to, to grow your business, to benefit your clients, to offer a service provider benefit. Like, like let's just say Joe, you know, Joe over here buys a house and he does a home inspection. We're like, Hey, you know, we do, we do recommend you get a home inspection in 11 months. Um, we'll, we'll give you a discount if you would like to use one of our, uh, you know, one of our preferred guys or something like that. So, but we have those funds to do it. We have those funds to, uh, you know, really work on branding yourself because the ACUF weekly group, we actually rebranded the whole thing. When we jumped out, when we jumped ship, we, we just completely took ACUF golden team and turned it into ACUF weekly group. It was an opportunity to transition because of her name and company. So, and new logo. And, you know, we were able to allocate that money towards graphic design, more custom features, uh, pumping that money more into lead generation, pumping that money more into our marketing for our listings. You know, we want to, you know, people are like, well, what's the difference between them and EXP? And it's a little bit hard to talk about. Number one, you're, you you negotiate commissions with your client, but then on the back end, you're like, we pay for marketing. And I'm like, well, where, where does that money go? And it's a lot nicer to know that I'm pumping more money into virtual reality um, because that's something agents better get on board with, like it or not, in the next six to 12 months. Uh, I'm still, I'm now looking into the uh, six degrees of freedom. I don't know if you guys Google that. Uh, that's a pretty cool, cool new project. There's very few agents in the US that are really getting into it, but it's about real virtual reality and, and selling homes. Uh, so there's a lot of cool things on the cusp and it's nice to have an opportunity to actually, we really don't have, if, if I wanted to stay the same as I did last year, I don't have to do as many deals. I've already capped, we're making a hundred percent commission. You know, we're able to build a team, allocate money to building that team, to marketing that team, to uh, agent attraction, putting money into agent attraction, doing more video, more VR. You know, I could go on and on. If you want, if you want me to open the brain and tell you like where all the money goes, is to all these things that are ultimately creates a better consumer experience. Well, and, but you're spending that money because you probably have more of it. And mm -hmm. um, you're also doing it to increase the incoming money. So, um, and Gusty, you know, he just talked about uh, capping. Um, you want to take and explain like icon and what it means for our families in the future. Oh, yeah. And I brought this because you had yours, every, <laughs> brought it downstairs because you've had yours every single time. <laughs> I know. I, I, I'm not, I'm not at the office today. Oh, so I, don't, I, don't, I can't kiss mine today, but <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, uh, not everybody's going to be an icon, but you know, we're, we're trying to get people to cap and then we're trying to get them to the next level of hitting icon. And in essence, icons, you know, maybe are, uh, I'd say in our market, it's probably 30 transactions. It's not guaranteed, but in that range. And so what that does, it's going to allow people that opportunity to get up to $16,000 worth of stock in EXP back. Well, luckily, you know, depending on, you know, when you cap and, and uh, or when you hit icon and you get your stock back, well, I just happened to hit that when, the stock was at eight dollars. Well, it's over sixteen dollars, so my sixteen thousand dollars in stock really became thirty-two thousand dollars in stock, and so that was a huge, huge benefit. So you know, it's um, not only is EXP growing, but it's rewarding top-level agents 
by um, by offering opportunities of ownership through stock. Because we are, in essence, an agent-owned company through NASDAQ, through EXPI, through World Holdings that also owns other companies like Verbella and Interland First Cloud and Serverline Title and Escrow. And I'm sure that they're going to probably own other ones. Um, so it's a, um, you know, we're, we're in, in, in essence, investing in our future. Huge. And, yeah. Huge. People don't understand this is willable. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah, and that's one of probably the biggest myths. Like, as we explore EXP, a lot of people talk a lot of, you know, whatever, but this is willable. Like, that is huge. It is. That word didn't even hit me until actually after I came over. And I was like, man, you know, you meet a lot of people and their families build wealth and, and all that great stuff. And I was like, man, I think it's, it's, a, it's a level of... Um, of business that EXP has created to give the maximum benefit to their clients, the agents. Right. And, and they're giving us an opportunity that you can't get if you're a plumber, you can't get if you've opened up your own company, typically. There's nothing like this on the market. And um, having the opportunity to, you know, my wife can get licensed and me and her have the same split, not two, just one. Um, you know, something happens, God forbid, and she can step in and collect on my downline and collect my stock. And it's, uh, that's, right. uh, that's the big picture. Like if you can get someone's mind wrapped around that, I always tell, I tell Gus this all the time. Every time I talk to an agent, I first thing I tell is like, well, the first thing you need to know about EXP is that you don't know what you don't know. We're going to start there. And when you start telling them all this, you're like, what? There's other streams of income than buying and selling a house. Yeah. 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 And um, Gusty and I have so much fun every single month. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> and, and really in our stocks that um, his grew a lot faster in the middle of that. I, they were, it was $7 a share whenever I started buying, but um, you know, it grows so fast and all the awards that um, to me, I'm so blessed that it's a cooker where you can't touch it for three years. <laughs> it's a forced savings that mm -hmm. is grow over time and uh, I mean I'm about to hit icon again for the second time and I mean just think about getting sixteen thousand dollars back twice in stock and and what that can do to change everything for your family if we're trying to talk about um, taking care of other people and it being our duty to do what's best for us first I mean this is timing may not be perfect for people to move over right away but I mean it is the best business model. You cannot get these kind of benefits anywhere else. Yeah. And um, I think people should at least look at it. They need yeah. to explore it for their own good to see if it is in their best interest. Yeah. It might not be in their best interest, yeah. but if you don't know true. about it, how do you know if it's not in your best interest? Right. Mm -hmm. So, right. That's right. It. Um, and the last thing we want to touch on, we kind of mentioned here and there, you know, rev share, downline, those kind of words. But um, the power of rev share, the power of EXP is just incredible all the way around. But the what rev share can do just by sharing the company that you love passionately because of all the benefits um, and someone joining because you shared it with them. Uh, you know, 22 people have named me as uh, a sponsor and that has grown into 153 other people in a short amount of time. And, uh, you know, I've been um, for the past three months, I've been earning over 10,000 a month or right at 10,000 a month in rev share. If you don't think that's life changing, um, <laughs> you just try it out and tell me if it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge and, good. and and you've been at the company how long jenny uh since the end i'm not even two years since the end the december um 2018 so sure. it happens so quickly and you know my first check was like 380 dollars or something like that and i'm like oh my god i love that it's so cute <laughs> so you got a twin in georgia that i can call <laughs> what, what's that <laughs> nothing <laughs> a twin in georgia <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> well, and it's not, see, that's what I'm saying. I didn't bring 153 people into this company. Only 22 named me. And of those, I only get credit for 18. So it's not, it's, my duty is now to help the other people that are here to grow theirs. Yeah, right. Yes, I want to grow mine, but I want everybody to have the same kind of benefits because you'll get to see the power of, of why we chose this awesome company. Yeah. Um, yeah. That comes in, you know, maybe I don't want to drive across town to take that $80,000 listing. Mm -hmm. well, I don't have to. I've got a little bit of backup here with my rev share. You know, maybe mm -hmm. I want to work with someone who is unreasonable and talking down to me and won't listen. I've got backup. And so um, that I think is just important for all of us because you were saying different streams of income. Mm -hmm. uh, and so again, like you said, Gusty, explore it, you know, yeah. take a look at it and see if it's a yeah. good thing for you. But um, yeah. Alex, I, it's already looking good on you. <laughs> it looks good on you on social media. And, uh, uh, and just today having this conversation has just been incredible. Thank you so much for being here. And, uh, you know, I want to get to know you better. So, um, you know, <laughs> reach out. I will answer. I promise. We were trying to get a date together and, uh, you know, uh, use my text message. <laughs> Don't make me message you on Facebook workplace. <laughs> <laughs> I get there, but I've got, I'm, uh, have a group, um, that we have 9,000 members of in EXP. And so all those notifications are going off constantly. So I'm not really that fast on workplace. I'm super fast by text. And um, yeah. I'll usually always answer you quickly on text message. So um, it is funny because people, I, I'll forget like, I, I, I missed all these messages on workplace. So I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, well, thanks again. And y'all, if you're watching and you want to know more, reach out to um, Alex. And, um, you know, he can explain this to you, his personal experience. He can explain, you know, why it's such a great company. And uh, you'll get to know more if you have a conversation with him in private so that, um, uh, you know, he can get to know the, um, how the benefits could work for you personally. So and as always, Gusty and I are here to, to help, um, to lift you up, to, to give you, yeah. um, you know, it doesn't matter what company you're with. We're always happy to help. So. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you guys for having me on. I had a great time exploring with you. Absolutely. Y'all be good. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a great day, and uh, you have a great day, too. Thanks for watching.